Hi ladies, I'm Samantha Swisher and I'm super excited to tell you about the online bingo that I did this month. So um, it was kind of a trial by error and I think I got most of the feedback that I needed to adjust it for you guys. So um, how this works is Melissa had put out um, about a year ago, maybe two, to do bingo um, in home or at a hall for your local customers well i was doing that and it was going great so if you have the option to do it local in home that's fantastic it was always a great way for me to have guaranteed pv every month however with me moving i needed to find an online option so i still had the the bingo cards from amazon um you can go buy bingo chips also from amazon and then I wanted to go a cheaper route for this online portion because I'll, I'll be mailing them and I won't get these cards back. So I went and got these. Um, you can get them at the dollar store or you can also buy just paper ones on Amazon. You can, um, I got these from a hobby store here that is local, but super cheap. They come in a giant pack, um, thin paper, almost like a newspaper paper. Um, didn't cost much at all, like 200 for like five bucks. So how this is going to work is you create an event on your website that's called like bags and bingo or whatnot. So that it's an open party and you have it open from the first through, I always put the day after I close it. So the eighth, then you have a event so you can either do a private event or you can create a separate group specifically for bingo every month and invite people to that and um in that you're gonna hold it from the first through the 14th this is really important because you're going to they're going to earn their cards from the first through the seventh on the eighth you mail them so if they got one card you pull off one. I stamp my information on the back and write, write the date. Or you can go get one of those neat little stampers that you can change the date on. And just get an ink pad and stamp it. But I made sure that they couldn't reuse their cards by using that. And then um, you mail those out on the 8th. They get them before the 14th. Um, all my girls had no problem getting them. Um, and they're all over the states. And then... On the 14th, you do a live video with the bingo cards. And in the live video, you're calling cards. I can't, I posted the numbers in the comments so that if they couldn't hear me for any reason or their internet was um, hit or miss, they could see it in the comments. And then the first person to comment bingo each round won a prize. Now, these prizes can be literally anything. Um, obviously if you give away some more valuable products that are just sitting around that you don't necessarily need anymore, um, they're going to want those. So, um, large utility totes are great. Um, zip top organizing utility totes are great. Those are things that people, you know, want all the time and they're you know medium priced items they're not terrible so if you can get those for free or you have them laying around that's great if not you can always give away the hostess benefits and just not actually close that um that party until you're done with the bingo and you can give away your hostess benefits so somebody can get 25 dollars free one half price item and one exclusive item so you could do it that way to save on the cost if you have if you don't have stuff laying around to give away and then each bingo will basically replace if you if you have stuff to give away every, you give away what you have right now and then when you close that bingo party you can get new stuff for each following month so the initial cost is the stuff you have laying around or your hostess benefits based on whichever one you choose so super easy and cost efficient that way and since these are reusable these i'm going to send with the bingo card so that they have something to mark on because otherwise i forgot to send them this time um 
and they ended up using markers and they had to use a different marker for every single one if you don't want to um, have the cost of the chips go ahead and just tell them we're gonna play with three rounds you need three different colored crayons everybody has crayons or markers laying around the house and they can mark using that um, <clears throat> so you'll want to post this in your customer group and set up reminders in the event itself from the first through the seventh um, about joining the event and earning their cards. From the 8th through the 14th, you're just reminding them that it's coming and having interactive posts so that they're constantly going to the event or the group so that they're more likely to see the notifications and the live streaming on the 14th. So then, <clears throat> sorry, um, the way that they can earn the cards works identical to the way Melissa put it on um, the, the local bingos in home. So if you join the event, which means that they um, join the customer group or the bingo group that you create, or if they click going on the private event that you make, that's how they get their first card. So basically you're telling them it's literally free to play, okay? Then if they invite their friend to come and the friend joins the group or the um, event, whichever one you've chosen to create, then they get another card and their friend gets a card for joining. Then they get one card for every $10 they spend. So if they spend $50, they get five cards. If they book a party, they get three. And if they join your team, they get five. So there's five different ways to earn cards. So, and one of them is completely, or two of them, you don't have to spend, or they don't have to spend any money. So it should be fairly easy as long as you're putting the information out to get people to join the event. Now, for my first one, what I did was I called all my closest friends and family members and asked them to please participate so that I could one, figure out all of this for you guys and for myself and do a trial by error. Um, but also so that we had that full interaction that I, I really wanted for the first month before everybody kind of gets familiar with it and wants to join from now on. Because it's once they're used to knowing that it's going to happen, more and more people will join in on it. Um, and so I called them. They had no problem. I sent them a bingo card. A couple of people actually booked parties and um, and ordered that I just asked them to play because I needed the interaction. So that was really awesome because I honestly wouldn't have thought that they would order or book a party. So I was excited about that. Um, but I booked three parties and I got about $200 in orders, which wasn't great, but like I said, I booked three parties and I did get two, 200, almost $200 in orders for my first bingo. Now, every month after, I think that it's going to be a lot bigger because um, of what I'm, I'm going to tell you to do in the event and the live video after. Now, like I said, you're going to want to contact those that you know um, are close with you and ask them to participate the first month. Um, send a message to your frequent buyers and customers, your hostesses, things like things, people that you, you work with regularly, you're, you're going to want to invite them to this and tell them about it. And then, um, you're going to, sorry, I'm reading my notes. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and set up the event to kick off at on the 14th at whatever time you're going to go live to do the bingo so that they get a notification an hour before that you're going to play um earlier in that day i went live and told them how it was going to work how we were going to play bingo that i was going to be just doing the cards and how if they get a line to comment bingo and they would win 
and that we're going to clear the cards and do three rounds. I told them this in maybe like a three minute video, super quick, but it showed them how to get on my live videos and kind of gave them a quick reminder and notification that bingo was coming up that evening. And then you go live. Um, I actually did a, a roll call to remind everybody as well about five minutes before the event. And I drew from the roll call a prize and I gave away a nail file. Um, and then I we played bingo real quick. I was calling numbers. They had no problem with me calling literally almost number after number. Um, I called the number. I type it in the comments and then I called the next number. There was no uh, delay in that. And then I reminded them that they can only win one grand prize. So I have three grand prizes picked out. They can only win one grand prize per um, bingo session. So um, next month they can win again, but they can only win one of the three big prizes per time we play. So um, if they get a second bingo during one of the other rounds, then they were going to get a door prize on top of their actual prize that they already won. And then, um, at the, and I reminded them to stay on, even though they couldn't win another one, stay on, because I'm gonna do another um, Happy Mail giveaway at the end. And so at the end, what I asked them all to do was to please, if they had fun, and they are excited about doing this again next month, to please tag me in their Facebook um, post, just a regular post on their main page about how much fun they had um, playing bingo and that, you know, they are excited to play next month or whatnot. That way <clears throat> their friends can hear about it too. It's kind of a, a word of mouth, gets everybody else excited that didn't get to play um, this month for next month knowing that there's another one coming. So um, that worked out great. I had quite a few of them. I think all of them tagged me and said that they're excited to play next month. So <clears throat> this is what I'm doing to try to get some additional um, personal volume every month to get some activity going on in my customer group and with those customers and be able to offer the same thing that I was doing for the last almost two years with my home bingo but just online so I want to share that with you guys I hope to see you guys doing it and hear how it works for you and if you have any other suggestions about it um, we'd love to hear about it all right you guys have a good day